The White River cuts a 700-mile crystal path through the Ozarks and offers some of the best trout fishing on Earth. So I hooked up with Mr. Willie to chase the rainbow. I'm Marty Smith for Academy Sports and Outdoors, and this is Traditions. Mr. Willie, how would you describe the fishing on the White River? It's the best that I've ever been on, and I, the ones I've guided, they uh, describe it the same way. What, what makes it great? The amount you can catch, uh, there's big, they catch several big fish. I like it. Most of the people that have come, come back. What are we fishing for? Uh, mainly rainbow trout. There's a brown trout in here, some cutthroat, and a few brook. But probably 80% of them would be rainbow. How would you describe the importance of the outdoors in this area, in the Ozarks? I'd say probably 75% uh, of it is, is tied to White River. A lot of it is fishing. Describe your passion for it personally. Well, if I'm not guiding, I'm out here fishing. So that, that's one reason I started guiding, because I was fishing all the time anyway. So You ought to be an investment advisor, Mr. <laughs> Willie. That sounds like a great plan to me. What's the importance of the outdoors in this area to families and spending time together? I think it's really important, especially with the younger ones, because I think if they, they're hunting and fishing, they're not going to be doing something they don't need to be doing. I like how you say it keeps you young. How does it, does. it keep you young? I think anytime you're active, you're, you know, you're gonna last longer, stay younger. Outdoors, I mean, the air, the the scenery, just looking at it, I'll, I can get out here and set anchor or drift or whatever and just look around and realize, you know, more to life than working and eating. <laughs> Man, great stuff, brother. Let's go rip some lips. <laughs> Mr. Willie, how many people around here love them Razorbacks? I'd say more than half of the population. A lot of them went to school, they're from here, and leave and come back too. Got a grandson just graduated a year ago, I guess. From Arkansas? Yeah. He went on and got a master's degree. People love SEC football. How would you describe that passion? It was, uh, all you gotta do is look at the way things turned out. You can see how strong SEC is. <laughs> I guess you're right. When both teams playing for the national championship are on that conference, I guess you're right, brother. As we paddled our way down the river, I considered the joy of simply being there. Few activities provide me the feeling of freedom that floating on a river's current does, past the riverbank and past the noise. It's a reminder of nature's awesome canvas. Eventually, Mr. Willie pointed out a honey hole that we just had to try. Mr. Willie, what's the economic impact of fishing on the White River out here in this region? There's probably over 150 independent guides. They depend on the river. A lot of the real estate around here is sold because it's right on the river. Docks, restaurants, it's a big impact on the area. When we're fishing for rainbow trout out here, what's our strategy? What are we looking for in terms of where we can find the fish? I like this kind of water right here, moving water, especially with lures because it kind of disguises the lure or some where they don't, you know, can't get a real good look at it. What are we fishing with here today? It's a rooster tail. I was out a couple of days this week and one of the couples I had, that's all they threw and they caught several. I'm ready to catch several, how about you? <laughs> that feels like one. Not maybe. Yeah, it is. yeah baby, all right! All right, man, got us one. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good fish. It was indeed a honey hole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no. No, sir. <laughs> Come back here. You get him? Where'd you go? <laughs> Your teammates got to pick you up sometimes. Nice, good grab. My fishing bio is like one of those guys that always has the asterisk by his name because he fumbles too much. Now we're right. 
boy. That's lunch right there, yeah. Mr. Willie. They're slick little dudes. And boy, were they biting now. <laughs> Not real good, but I like it. <laughs> How long you been an Arkansas Razorbacks fan your whole life? I've been down here since 1965. How wild and passionate are Arkansas fans? Probably as wild as any in the SEC, I'd, I'd say. Uh, they're pretty well that way whether they're winning or losing. It seems to be an SEC staple that those fan bases are so passionate and so loyal and always there. They're there. What's that tell you about the Southeast and the Southeastern the Conference? people. The supporters are mostly are down home people, country people, and when they're loyal, they're loyal. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, they're there day in, day out. They're uh, very supportive. I think good days are ahead for the Razorbacks. I do too. I like I... Chad Morris, the new head coach. Very dynamic personality. Right, right, right. Always kids first. I think that to me is, I've been in sports all my life. I officiated almost 30 years, and I think it's as important that the individual that's coaching those kids is a class person as much as the winning and losing. I think because a coach, I think, has as much influence on kids as any, even the parents, I think. It's another voice of authority exactly that they can look at that's not their parents, so they that's don't right. have that same reaction of defiance right. that you have with your parents. Right. You said you were an official for 30 years. What'd you officiate? Basketball and football high school, uh, and some some baseball in the summer. Were you quick to years. tee up a coach if he got lippy? Uh, <laughs> I've been known to. <laughs> Mr. Willie took off to set up the fryer and prepare us a shore lunch. And I went after something for him to cook. Mr. Willie. Hey. That looks like a fine shore lunch, brother. What we got? Got some trout, hush puppies, some French fries. Looks delectable. What's the trout taste like? I bet it's delicious. It's not quite like salmon, but almost like salmon. Just made. Just come off. On my way off the water, you sitting here making it. Yeah, right. Is it going to make my belly happy? Uh, most of the time it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's according to how, how hard it is to make your belly right, happy. Here, here's but... a moment of truth. You ready? <laughs> That's delicious, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. You can cook my shore lunch any day. Okay. Thank you so yes, much sir. for your time, You're expertise, welcome. bringing us out here on the river, making us lunch. Big thing about it, if you have a good time, that's what I've always on my guide. If I, people have a good time, I'm I'm happy. Nothing yeah. makes me happy than that's, catching those fish. That's great. Mr. Willie's passion for fishing and for home reminded me of my own. The White River Fishing Portrait looks much like the beauty of its famous rainbow trout. Its shine is vibrant, and it glistens like the sunshine on the water.